So here we have 10.1, finding the vertex, intercepts, and axes of symmetry from the graph of a parabola. Now, um, it says, does the parabola open upward? If it's upward, it's going to have the arrows going up. If it's downward, it'll have the arrows going down. Since both of my arrows are facing up, I'm going to answer this question upward. Every graph is different, so it may be downward for certain problems. Then find so x-intercepts are the points where it touches the x-axis. So in my case, here and here. So the values are negative 1 and positive 3. And then the y-intercept the y is where it touches the y-axis, which happens to be here at negative 3. Now you will always have a y-intercept. No matter what, you will always have a y-intercept. However, it is possible to say none for the x-intercepts. For example, if your parabola is like this, then it doesn't ever touch the x-axis and it's or down like this. It doesn't touch the x-axis, so it doesn't have any x-intercepts. But notice that in either of these cases, it does still have a y-intercept. So it is possible that depending on the, prob the parabola you're given, you may say it only has, it has no x-intercepts. Or you may say that it just has one x-intercept if the vertex is what lands on the x-axis. There may be only one value here. Or you may cross through the um, graph and have two intercepts. So for the x-intercepts, there's, there's three possibilities, either none, just one, or two of them. Okay. So it all depends on what image they give you to look at. Now the vertex of the coordinates of the vertex is you're going to find that peak wherever it is on your graph and you're just going to give them the vertex in coordinates so it's one for x positive one and one two three four negative four for y and so then that's the coordinates of my vertex and for the axes of symmetry you're just going to take x equal to the x coordinate of that axis of symmetry which in this case, that x coordinate is one, okay? Now, if this was it, let's say that was at two, my vertex would have been two and zero, so then my axis of symmetry would have been two. Let's say I'm over here and that point is three and one, then my axis of symmetry would have been three. Let's say my vertex was here at one and negative something, um, then my axis of symmetry would have been one, okay? So it all just depends on what that x coordinate is of your vertex. That's going to be the x value that you use in your axis of symmetry. Now make sure you're typing in an equation for the axis of symmetry. It has to be x equals and then the x value.